Hi, Jim here from Hypertherm. I wanted to talk a little bit about the, uh, the spare parts. Uh, they're called consumables that go inside of a plasma torch. Um, typically, when you buy a, a new Hypertherm plasma system to go on a CNC cutting table like this one, um, you're going to get a consumable starter kit. Um, consumable, the word means, you know, they get consumed. These parts do wear out after, after a certain amount of cutting, and they're part of the cost of cutting. Um, so you do have to understand them a little bit. Um, inside the, the kit comes a, a variety of different parts. Uh, we could talk about each one individually, but I think the, the most important thing is to, is, is to tell you that there are, there are different consumables depending on the material and the thickness that you're cutting. Uh, and for instance, with this PowerMax 125 that we're using on this table, um, if I was going to cut some very thin gauge material, I would use the 45 amp fine cut consumables. Yet if I wanted to cut some one inch thick material, I would use the, the 125 amp shielded consumables. And there's some other consumables in between. Uh, the operator's manual that comes with it really helps a lot with choosing the right set of consumables uh, for the application. Um, there's a little bit of a learning curve to make sure that you get the right get the right set set up. So instead of talking about the individual parts that are in this box, let's uh, let's take the torch apart. Uh, you can see how easy it is to actually change the consumables. And this part that I'm unscrewing on the end here is the retaining cap, is what we call it. Um, and when you pull that out, you get a stack of parts that are inside the torch. You can see right here. And we'll take a look at them. There's, uh, there's actually another part on the end of the retaining cap. So the retaining cap is what holds all the consumables in the proper location inside the torch. The frontmost part, and this is pretty much only on hypertherm torches, uses a, a, what's called a shield assembly. The shield screws onto some plastic threads on the front end of the torch, and those threads are to keep it electrically isolated. This is so, this shield's major function is to protect the other parts inside the torch from blowback during piercing, it takes that blowback material and it just bounces off because this is not electrically conductive on the front of the torch. It also, it, if there's a, a case where maybe the material pops up from internal stresses and this actually drags on the plate while it's cutting, the shield protects the nozzle from arcing out like other plasma torches do. So the shield is a, is a critical component inside the front end of the torch. The next part that's inside the front of the torch is the nozzle. The nozzle actually takes the high temperature um, gas that's converted into a plasma. It's an ionized uh, gas. In this case, we're using regular compressed air. Uh, the nozzle actually takes that gas and squeezes it down and increases its velocity so that it's a very narrow, very high temperature column coming out the front end of the torch. Um, in another video someday, we'll tell you how this nozzle that is made of copper that melts at 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit holds up with 40,000 degrees of plasma arc going down through this little orifice in the middle. There are some, uh, we're definitely bending the laws of physics to make it work correctly. Um, so the nozzle does, nozzle's what really shapes the arc and does the cutting. The electrode is another component, and this is unique to hypertherm torches. It's called a spring electrode. Uh, the electrode actually fits up inside the front end of the torch, and when air pressure hits the torch, the, the electrode springs back. The, air pressure pushes it back. That creates a short circuit spark inside the torch and ionizes the gas in the torch. And that's what gets the process started, gets that temperature up to about 30,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, this is a very uh, precisely manufactured uh, unit. You notice this funny looking fin down the middle of it. That's, a, that's actually a heat exchanger to take some of the heat out of the copper on this so that this unit doesn't melt. And on the end of the electrode, you see a little, uh, a little slug of, um, of uh, kind of silver colored material in this copper holder. That's, a, that's the emitter in the electrode and it's made of uh, an earth element called hafnium. So the electrode's a very critical part. And last but not least, there's this uh, composite piece that goes up inside. You notice a, a lot of little holes drilled in it. They're kind of tangential angle holes and what they do is they get the air going down through the torch before it's ionized, they get it swirling. Uh, and that's called the swirl ring. It also acts as an insulator, insulating the electrode um, from, the, from the nozzle inside the torch. It separates these two parts and keeps them electrically isolated. So these parts are all critical inside the plasma torch. There's a lot of information about them in the manual, and there's also a lot of information uh, 
when you, when you talk to the tech service departments and the customer service people at Hypertherm and the manufacturer of these CNC cutting tables. Um, a lot of good things to look at. One more thing I do want to mention, uh, the starter kit that comes with your uh, plasma system has base the, maybe one or two of the basic components that are used in the torch. Once you've gotten familiar with it, there are a variety of other um, uh, kits that are focused on the material thickness that you're cutting. So you can buy a kit that's just made for thick material, just made for thin material, uh, get the biggest bang for your buck uh, with these consumable parts. Thank you very much.